estimator roof, any roof screen. The any roof screen here allows you to estimate for anything not covered by any of these other screens down here. So if it's a non-standard shaped roof, um, if it's not a rectangular or L-shaped, or if you're not doing any standalone items, then use the any roof screen. The any roof screen will cover everything down here already. It just takes a bit longer to do, but it's very flexible. And the way it works is you have an existing roof diagram and you divide that up into a number of shapes supported by estimator roof and it will base the estimate on those. So for example, if we go into the any roof screen, if you click new, this shows you all the panels that are available. So you can have a flat roof and this holds all the parts and all the labor, etc. for a flat roof. If you had a detached roof with gable ends, just a front and rear face, then you'll select two of these rectangular panels. If you had, say for example, um, a dormer, a flat roof dormer, you would select this panel here for the left side and this panel here for the right side. Um, and then you'll put the flat roof on the top. Okay, so we'll go through with the example. Um, if you had a detached roof, front and rear only, with gable ends, select this shape. So this is this is the roof as you can see it, so you'd have the ridge along the top. This is obviously the run and then you've obviously got the length. So for example on this roof we'll set a length of 18 meters and a run of 10 meters. We want ridge tiles along the top. We don't want anything else on here at the moment. We've automatically got batten selected. Click validate. It's telling you that this is 180 meters squared and we call this the front face. Go back to the screen here. We now need to create the rear face panel. Now we can either do the process again or we can just do copy. We've got copy here. Copy same side just makes an exact copy of the one you've got. Copy reversed will flip it. So if it's a left handed shape it will turn it into a right handed shape. We'll just do copy same here. We now go in and edit it. Give it the name rear and you can see it's got all the dimensions and parts of the front face. Now we don't want ridge tiles selected along the top because the ridge tiles are selected on the front face and we don't want to double count. So we come out of here, back to the main screen. Here you select the parts, so I'll just randomly select some parts. Uh, keep going here, ridge tiles. Okay, we can set the gauge here and we can set the rafter spacing. You can say whether it's a strip or a strip and fit and whether you want skips. Um, we're now ready to estimate. Now, these parts here are will be used by both panels, by all panels in here. However, if you wish to use different parts for a particular panel, go into the panel, click this button here, and you can now override and select anything you want here. So if you want different parts on this particular panel, then go in here, even a different gauge and rafter spacing. We, we won't do that on this one, we'll just keep it simple. Okay, so back here, we click Save. We save the roof, click estimate, and there you go, there's the results. So you've got your parts cost, your labour cost, um, if you're VAT registered or not VAT registered. Um, this varies accordingly, so this person's not VAT registered, but if there were, that would be 20%, you'll get the extra VAT there. You've got a square metre rate. This allows you to put a mark up, for instance, if you wanted to mark up your parts by 10% and your labour by 15%. Click recalculate, the figures go up, and that shows you how much extra profit you've made. If you need any help, click the user guide button, it gives you quite a lot of detail. Um, if you have Microsoft Office installed, if you click Excel, it will start Microsoft Excel, and the figures will be taken through into Excel, and you can see them here. So you can see these are the figures without markup, these are the figures with markup, and now you've got your labour breakdowns, so these are in days, price per day subtotal and you've got your parts, so you've got a number of felt rolls, number of batten meters, etc. Uh, roof tiles, ridge tiles and you've got the total surface area. Um, estimator roof doesn't store the results in Excel so you can just come out of Excel and exit it. Right, so go back to the main screen. If you wish to you can delete a panel, create new ones, you can edit a panel and as I've shown you you can copy panels. Um, it's very flexible. This particular screen will allow you to create almost any type of roof. Thank you for your time.